Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Perun. I hope that you are all doing great. Uh, today's video is just a short update on the case of Mateusz Kawetski, as there have been some uh, new information that came out. Uh, and actually one of the people on Reddit let me know that there's actually been some new information and updates. So I wanted to thank you very much. And this is just gonna be a quick update on that whole case. This new information gives some more insight into what happened between the time that Mateusz was uh, basically supposedly on the way to his girlfriend's, um, which he didn't, as we will get into shortly. However, also this new information makes more questions than the original case had. Uh, it rolls out some of the theories that I presented in my previous video. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, there's going to be links to my video down below and also the link to the Reddit so you guys can read it for yourself. So yeah guys, let's just get straight into it. So as you guys can remember, um, the police wasn't really doing a really good job of securing the items of Mateusz when they were first found in the barn. As you can remember, the, the family and the sister were uh, accusing the police of basically not doing their job. So the police persecution uh, service basically took over the case and they started looking back into it. Um, they kind of found that uh, actually two, two of the policemen were basically not doing the job and they were found of wrongdoing and they were basically reprimanded. So when it comes to Mateusz, the prosecutors were able to gather a lot of information and a lot of evidence. Things like the DNA analysis and the analysis of Mateusz's phone. Also the German police uh, were able to get some footage from the CCTV cameras and also they went through his apartment in Hanover. Um, and they were able to get some information from his tablet. So based on uh, the inf information that the police was able to gather, um, Mateusz was basically lying to his family when he first called his father to tell him that he was in Szczecin, when he actually was not in Szczecin at all, uh, he wasn't driving at all. He was actually still in Germany according to the receipts that were found um, at his belongings. He actually took a train um, to a German town called Frankfurt, uh, which is close to the Polish border, and he most likely walked over the bridge to a town called Slubica. And that happened almost 24 hours after he already told his family that he was in Poland, uh, in Szczecin, the last time he called. And this already brings so much more uh, intrigue to this case. Why, why would he be lying to his family? Why? He took a train to Frankfurt, and then why would he go to Slubica? Makes absolutely no sense, but maybe he had some reasonings for what he was doing. And then the story goes even deeper. He actually checked into a hotel uh, with another person in that town in Slubica. However, the police was unable to find who that person, who that second person was. The next day, Mateusz took a train to Warsaw, and then he took a bus to Zamość, which is uh, I guess the next closest um, bigger town to his family village in Hutkov. He arrived in Zamość around midnight, however it's unknown at what time he actually got to Hutkov. What happened to his car is also um, a mystery, no one really knows what happened to it. Uh, the Polish or the German police were not able to find any indication that he sold the car or he transferred it to someone or if he deregistered the car basically. There was no toxicology done on his body, um, however there was a DNA test that was taken confirming that it was actually his body, uh, however there was no other DNA on his belongings uh, which makes it seem like he was maybe by himself. And the last information that we have is that basically police just ruled out this case as a suicide. It is a strange case of a suicide. They say it's something that Mateusz planned beforehand. I don't know why he would do that. He obviously could have some problems in his life, but he had a he had a fiance and he had a baby on the way. Why would he lie to his family? Um, go to three different towns that he was not supposed to be in. He went to Frankfurt, he went to Warsaw, um, you know, he went to Zamość. Uh, kind of doesn't make sense why he, he would do that. And that's kind of all the new information that we got on this case. 
I want to say again thank you to the Redditor that messaged me saying that there was an update to this. To me, this kind of seems like he possibly could have been in some trouble and maybe he didn't want to bring his new family into this or, or he had problems with his fiance maybe. That would kind of explain why there was not much known about the fiance in the case maybe. And I think maybe it was a suicide in the end. Um, a weird case of suicide, but maybe a suicide in the end. So yeah, thank you for watching this uh, little update. And there's gonna be all the links down below. I'm also gonna be starting a Discord channel uh, soon so we can all talk together um, exchange new cases new updates like this if there's any updates on the cases that I've done please make sure to uh, let me know as I can't possibly know all the cases but yeah thank you very much for watching um, I hope you enjoyed this little update maybe you have some kind of new theories that you would like to leave down below in the comments and yeah see you next one